Hey, YouTube. All right, I got things to do, so this will only be a minute. But I just saw the story over here on on uh, on this thing on YouTube. But this person named Hazel E. This disgusting ass story. I want to speak on it before I leave the house because it's just heavy on me. All right, so apparently this woman named Hazel E. This is one of the people on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I have never seen that show. Let me see. I'm prejudiced against reality shows. I don't watch them. It's entertainment. People like it. So what? Enjoy yourself. But for this woman to get on, on online and saying this kind of shit that I just heard, that person needs to be fired. Now, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, I don't know nothing about you. As I said, I don't got nothing against you, though. You're just making a living. But you, are you going to let this woman go on, on, on social media and calling people faggots and uh, darkies and uh, all this colorism, all the black people hate her because she's light skin and oh my god, I, I know I should now go and spend two hours of my life researching this damn woman because frankly I don't know who the hell you are. These people they get on these little shows and they think that they are some international celebrity. You're not no international celebrity. Anytime you are a big star, bitch, I heard of you. I never listened to Beyonce, but I know who she is. That's a star. Not loving hip hop, some contestant on there. This girl's got to go and fake and have a boyfriend on, on for this show, for a storyline, I guess. All right, let me try to pull up what I think is going on here. People are saying this boy looks gay. He acts gay, talks gay, walks gay. They think he's a hairstylist or something, friend of hers. He he responds by, you want to know what I think about gay people? And he burns a gay flag, a rainbow flag online saying that all gays should go to hell. That's what I think of you. You're all going to hell. And she chimes in, you need to all go to hell like the Bible say. Those people should not be working on television. That's the bottom line. So my read is not for Miss Hazel E, whoever she is. I guess she's somebody to some whatever group of people watch that show. The show, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. If you don't fire them damn people, y'all ask me to be off the air too. Only with black people do we let people get away with this bullshit. Now she's saying that she they, they jealous of her because she's black and pretty and she calling black women monkeys. You know what? Let me say this. Every time you see an extraordinarily, an extraordinary beauty, an extraordinary beauty, models, when you see an extraordinary black model, almost every damn time, I'm just going to put this in, she's dark skinned. She's dark skinned. She's one or the other. You being middle of the road is nothing to be bragging about profusely. Ain't shit to, because you light skin down on me a goddamn thing. You still a uh, African American. This is such a childish as. Uh, listen, I'm guilty. When I was a little kid, my sister was I think she was a shade darker than me, and I used to always call her these this colorism, color black, and all this kind of stuff. And I hurt her feelings because as a grown woman, this is now we were in our forties. She had to pull me to the side. I hadn't seen her for years and tell me how much that hurt her. Now, my sister is lighter than I am. At least she, I don't think that, that, you know, the, the world turned and we ended up different colors. The point is, I did it. I was 12 years old. Don't make it right, but I was 12 years old. That's my excuse. This is a grown ass woman. Woman starting to get up in age, shall we say. I mean, no damn sense for her getting online saying this kind of shit that she was saying. It is so childish and so stupid. So my, my word, I, I don't have time to dig, dig through this or I would take time to go online and see everything was said and all that kind of stuff. I'm not putting this kind of, this person is nobody to me. I don't know who hell Hazel E is. And this boy needs to be, he's ashamed be shame himself, Rose Burgundy. And he had his gay boy on here saying that he is in fact gay and he has been with him and he is gay and he's just on the show to be her boyfriend but to, for that boy to come on there and burn the gay flag deny himself so severely and then condemn us all to hell that is reprehensible neither one of those people deserve to be on that damn show now I'm going to wait and see because if they don't get off that damn show then Love and Hip Hop 
Hollywood has just become my enemy. Every time I see you fuck up, I'm going to be on here discussing you. Because it don't make no sense to allow that to happen. BET does it all the time. He let all these goddamn racist ass, homophobic ass people on here uh, on these uh, on this singing show they got. Yes, Burrell and McCurkin and all these uh, homophobes on there. They say anything they want to say. They don't fire them. It's a bad example. Bad, bad, bad witness. Now, to you guys that are ready to grow up, be adults, and represent properly in the media, you shouldn't be on the air either. These girls need to be fired. Him and that boy. That boy, is, what a disgraceful person. That shit's going to follow you stupid ass for the rest of your life. You will not be able to suck a dick in peace while somebody throwing it in your face. You will not be able to be in a club while somebody attacking your ass when this little show is over. Whatever you, Probably it, your part in that show is probably over. That's going to follow you forever. This stupid ass stuff come out your mouth. I don't give a goddamn if you're 19 or 25. It is dumb as hell. She said, uh, my mama always said, uh, you don't pass the brown paper bag test. Girl, you some stupid bitches. Get, get. <laughs> Listen here. Do these, when these cops are shooting black people, do they just, they, do they go by the, the shade of, the, the, what shade they are? If they're light skin, they don't shoot them. And then the dark skin, do you shoot them? No, you're black. You're just black, honey. Disgusting. All right, I'm not going to spend all the time with this. And no, I'm not going to research this. But that bitch needs to go. And that dude, Rose Burgundy, <laughs> didn't say, you need to go too. And you need to be ashamed of yourself. Clean it up. Don't let these people sell your soul to be on no damn TV show. There's a, a fleeting thing. Next year, we won't even know you was ever on there. That shit's going to follow you forever, my brother.